Yo, what's going on everyone? So today we're back here with another Mega Draft review. And as you can see, currently top 2000 in the world, exactly 1900, that's kind of cool. But uh, yeah, so hopefully by the end of the season, I can get my first top 1k finish. But I don't know how well that's going to happen. Hopefully, you know, it happens. But anyway, no promises, hopefully it does. But yeah, let's just get into it, so... Got me some 28 medals against Dennis. So yeah, let's just hop into it. Alright, so we got first pick here. And I can't remember what I ended up picking first. But I think it's Poison. Could be wrong, but I know it's times four. Yeah, I picked Poison, you know. Definitely the best big spell out of all the ones available. Lightning's a bit too expensive. And usually I don't like picking it anyway because it doesn't fit my type of decks. And Fireball's good, but I just like how Poison gives you more damage, and it's good against the Graveyard. Which is actually an option this time, so prevents him from picking Graveyard, basically. And, uh, yeah. He's pretty quick with that, so he picks Dark Prince and Fireball. Uh, he probably just wants Dark Prince as, like, a tank, you know? I don't really know why he'd pick it at this moment, just because I haven't picked anything besides the spells, you know? It's not like <laughs> he can counter the Poison, but... I probably just want a tank, and then he picks Fireball, because, you know... Best big spell left because, you know, lightning, like I said, too expensive and lightning doesn't really fit, fit in too many decks. Whereas poison and fireball do fit in a lot of decks. So, good pick on the fireball. Alright, I picked firecracker on Mighty Miner here. And I picked the firecracker because if you're looking at the cards available, there's no arrows. So, he can't kill the firecracker. And firecracker is very annoying because... You know, obviously, she just stands behind stuff and fires away and uh, pushes herself back. So, she keeps getting farther and farther and farther and farther. So, it's going to be really annoying for him to deal with her. And I picked the Mighty Miner just because um, I need something for his Dark Prince. And not only that, but I want Mighty Miner to be, like, the foundation of my deck. Like, I want to build it kind of around him. I want, like, a Miner Poison Control deck kind of. So, that's why I picked him. You know, obviously, he's a... Heating up drill, then is like switching the lanes with the bomb are also very good too. Uh, he picks Goblin Gang and Fire Barrel. Um, I'm thinking he picked the Gang because um, there's no log, and he just picked the Fire Barrel because obviously you know he won the Gang. Sorry, he yeah yeah well he did want the Gang, but he wanted it so there's no like good counters for it. But um, he also picks the Gang, and when I was playing this match, I was also thinking like. Prince is available, and if you're looking at the cards right now, like, there's nothing really, like, too good for him. Like, Gang is definitely the best option, so th that kind of scared me because I thought he might be going for, like, a, like, double Prince deck, Giant, maybe. Giant double Prince, because that could be really good, because also a Zap, a Miner. So I was thinking maybe he's going for that. So, definitely a good pick on the Gang by him, and Barbaro's a decent pick, too. Just good small spell. Alright, go for Snowball Minions here. I go Snowball because, one, I want a small spell, and I think Snowball is better than Zap in this game mode. It's probably better in general, too, honestly. just depends on the situation. And it's also going to deal with the Goblin Gang pretty well. won't kill, like, the three Stabby Goblins, but it'll kill the Spears. And I pick Minions because, like the Firecracker, once again, there's nothing really too good for them. Like, again, there's no Arrows, and Arrows are, like, arguably the best spell in this mode. So nothing good for them either. They're going to be really good on defense because the only deck you could really be building right now is like an E-Giant or like an RG. Maybe you could go for like a Battle Ram, but Battle Ram is just not a good win condition. So I'm thinking that just because, you know, obviously they're really good. They do a lot of DPS ever since they got like their 15% uh, damage buff. So definitely good picks by me here. He picks Fire Spirit and Golden Knight. You know, Fire Spirit, good cycle card, uh, gets a lot of damage if you don't deal with it. Usually forces you to spend, like, more elixir than it's worth. And he picks Golden Knight here. Uh, I'm not too sure why he picks Golden Knight. Maybe he just wanted, like, some spammy card for the deck. I'm not really too sure. Makes me think he's more so going for, like, a Giant or a Battle Ram deck as he picks Golden Knight. But you're going to end up seeing that he doesn't actually end up picking the Giant here. So we're going to pick the Prince and the Miner. Prince because, uh, you know, he does have Goblin Gang, but Prince is really good, like, in this mode especially. Like, it's amazing in draft. And it's also really good at, like, uh, DPSing, like, big tanks down. Plus, it can be a uh, pressure. 
And I picked the miner for, you know, my win condition. He parries very well with poison and the minions. So I can use him to get, I'm using him to get most of my damage here. Let's see what he does. He's going to go for Musketeer. Okay, he goes for Musketeer and Royal Giant. Um, I think Musketeer was definitely a good pick here because looking at the card, well, the game picked it for him, I should say, so there's not too much to talk about, honestly, but the game picked a really good card for him here because, like, there's just not too much to do with Musketeer. He has Fireball, which is obviously, like, the best thing. And I could pick Lightning, but I'd be pretty uh, crazy to pick Lightning here. And he goes for Royal Giant, and it's, it's a decent pick. Uh, there is Inferno Tower, which is really good against it, but I'm not going to end up picking Inferno Tower just because I don't want, like, a high, like, I don't want a high-costing building because Bomb Tower is only four, and it's relatively cheap, but Inferno Tower is five, and that's obviously a lot more expensive. So... We're not going to end up picking Inferno Tower. We're going to pick, end up picking Bomb Tower for his RG. And yeah, we'll just see how the rest of the match goes. So a decent deck from him, but my deck counters his so much it's not even funny. Top 500 finish, so that's pretty decent. He suckles Fire Spirit. We spent a Snowball on it. Don't want to take the damage. I just go for a Mighty Miner down low. He blasts for some reason. <laughs> I didn't have Emo's turn on, so I didn't see that. We're going for Prince for his Dark Prince. He's going to go Cold Knight back. He charges so it doesn't take any damage, so it's a pretty good ability. I'm just going to minion so that Gold Knight is good on my tower. I'm going to go Miner for additional pressure. Musketeer is there. I'm going to poison her, and he goes for Dark Prince, so I go for Mighty Miner. And I went for Mighty Miner there and not lower, because if I didn't do that, the Musketeer wouldn't have stayed in the poison, and that actually would have made her live, because if you didn't know, a poison will fully counter a Musketeer, but in order to fully counter the Musketeer, every tick of the poison must hit. So I Mighty Miner kind of up high. Just so that the Musketeer would die to the poison, because I didn't really want her to support my Dark Prince. So yeah, that's why I did that. So he does use Bar Barrels. I could ignore it, because, you know, if, if they Bar Barrel, like, right at the bridge, it'll get a hit. I don't need to worry about that now. Let's go for Firecrack in the back. He goes for RG. Prince 2. Firecrack is going to shoot twice. Old Knight does lock into my Bomb Tower, it's not the end of the world. He spends a Fireball, which I don't really agree with. I still have these Prince minions. Prince is going to clamp the Spear Goblin that matters, so I don't have to deal with these Spear Goblins now. The one for a Miner, he has a guy to snowball the Fire Spirit again. Mighty Miner for the Dark Prince. I'm going to Bomb Tower and the Prince. Like, this is why I said, like, the Prince is just really good to get some tanks down. Go for Miner again, he doesn't catch it. Minion does actually lock on for a lot of damage, so really good damage for the Minion. Dark Prince, or, or not the Dark Prince, <laughs> Mighty Miner here. The bomb tower actually lost the musketeer, so very bad musketeer there. Prince will kill. I just snowball to get rid of the goblins. He's gonna have to deal with the prince. He does end up catching my miner in like the like uh, what do you call it? Worst position to put him in. So he goes RG the back. I set bomb tower. Mighty Meyer's going. I believe I poison musketeer. Yep. Bomb just because I don't know. I kind of felt like it. I don't, it wasn't like that good in the build. You guys kind of felt like it though. And I need to slow that down for a second. As you can see, I have this bomb tower down here. I don't know what the game is like this place. I have my bomb tower down here. Prince is going away. Work on the town. And then I bomb tower like that. And this doesn't work because the RG is a ranged card. He's not like the E Giant. And if that wasn't E Giant, that would have pulled because the E Giant would have had to like walk towards it a bit. But unfortunately for me in that moment, I accidentally did that. So that's like my first mistake in the match. I guess you could call, like, the bomb of the musketeer mistake, but that's not, like... That didn't really end up affecting me in any way. That, that was definitely a mistake by me, and you shouldn't do that. So it actually does end up playing the RG to hit. He goes for RG again, and this is also <laughs> another uh, instance of where that mistake cost me three shots, so... It only cost me one hot. <laughs> one hot. <laughs> one shot at the beginning, but then it ended up costing me two more, so... Definitely a bad mistake. And then, slow that down again. Art musketeer behind the RG goes bar barrel. And I, <laughs> I smell bomb and don't hit the musketeer. I don't really think this ends up like affecting the match that much, but obviously you don't want to miss uh, the thing you're trying to hit your snowball with. So definitely a bad snowball by me. It didn't end up doing anything. Musketeer lives, but it's not going to end up doing anything. I just mean it's on top of it. The mighty miner so he can't pull night dash. Miner off tower again. Three seconds left. Poison that so it dies. Pop off the shield. Bomb tires, but it works. Snowball slurred. He doesn't get a hit. Miner again for damage. 
firecracker makes this creep almost too much damage, and at this point, the match is basically over. He can't do anything. He's gonna mighty minor snowball, make sure I don't lose the game. And that is game against Dennis here. He sends me the piggy mutt, so I send one back. I was trying to be respectful, but he wasn't having any of it, so I wasn't having any of his. <laughs> Not having it. So, yeah. Uh, that's the match. Uh, like I said, at the end of the season, I'm hopefully uh, gonna finish top 1k. That's what I'm going for. It's only six days left, which is, you know, basic seven, so a week from now, uh, well, not a week from now, but next Monday is when the season ends, around, like, 5 a.m., I think, so I might make some videos on that, and if I do, they're probably not going to have, like, my voice included just because I'm going to try to be, like, focused enough because if I do get top 1K, that's very, like, cool for me because I've never done that before. Like, my highest finish is, uh, let me check... 3,833, so you know, not bad. That's when the game was actually normal, <laughs> but yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.